In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the churn rate. So churn is the number of customers that drop your product or service and stop being a customer at some point during the period. And the period could be a week, it could be a weekly churn rate, you could track the monthly churn rate, and so forth. Now companies monitor churn very closely because it's an indicator of customer satisfaction. If you see that the churn rate is going up over time, that suggests people are unhappy and you just have to say, hey, why are so many customers dropping our product or service? So let me show you how to calculate the churn rate with an example. So let's say you start a company called Cupcake Delivery and it's going to be a subscription based model. What you're going to do is uh, customers subscribe and then they get a box of cupcakes delivered to them each month in the mail okay so you've got these beautiful cupcakes and the customers let's say you've got a thousand of them signed up and subscribe but then 20 of them decide that they want to cancel and no longer be a customer this month so then your churn rate to calculate it you take the 20 that canceled divided by the 1,000 customers and that gives you 0 0.02. If you multiply that by 100 to convert it to a percentage, it's just easier to interpret, your churn rate would be 2%. Okay, so we'd say that there's a monthly churn rate here of 2% for your company. And then you would track that over time. But there's another nice thing about the churn rate, and that's that if you invert it, and when I say invert it, I mean if you take one and then divide that by the churn rate. Okay, so our churn rate was 2%. So you put that in the denominator and then put one in the numerator. That will actually tell you the average number of months that someone is going to remain a customer. Okay, so in this case, we've got one divided by 0 0.02, so that's going to be 50. What does that mean? That means that for your company, if you if you were to take the, these thousand customers and you said, I just been curious, on average, what is the length of time that one of these people, if I pick them at random, would remain a customer? It would be 50 months. 